Hello, this is Dr. Barbara Jennison, and I'm with Wind of the Spirit Ministries International. As I've been praying here early this morning, the Lord quickened me to uh, speak to you and to show you what to do and how to do it and be equipped so you can whip this virus. Well, this is virus has come from the, uh, the evil one, which is the devil. And this virus intends or wants to destroy all of your families. He wants to destroy you. And he wants to cause you much panic and fear. But I'm here to say to you that the spirit of fear is not of uh, is good is not good. And I want to show you and explain to you there are several ways that you can protect yourself. And also listen, listen to the health officials and do what they say also. Don't be foolish about anything. But also do what the Word of God says. And some of you, if you've never prayed before, I'm going to uh, say some prayers that maybe will help you and maybe you would like to uh, use the same type of prayer so it will be effective for you and, and then we will have the victory over this virus. First of all, I use, there was three scriptures that I use. And I always, number one, is if I'm praying for somebody or a leader, I always apply the blood of Jesus Christ over them. The Bible says in Revelation 12 and 11, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. So what I do is the very first thing I do is I name this person to God, and then I use the scripture and I pray over them, and I pray a blood bubble over them. It doesn't say in the scriptures about a blood bubble, but I use the blood bubble to protect him. So here's what I mean. I'm gonna pray a, a, an example prayer. Father God, for President Donald Trump, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over him. Lord, your word says in Revelation 12 and 11, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony. So God, I cover him. I cover his family. I wrap them. I saturate him in the blood of Jesus and I ask for a blood bubble over them. So no evil, no evil can attack their house, can attack them in Jesus name. Now the second scripture that I also use a lot and it's uh, there's 16 verses to this. It's Psalm 91. Get yourself into the Old Testament and read over your families Psalm 91. Do it every day. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your families and over everything that concerns you every day. In Psalm 91, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We can say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our strength and our high tower. So today, I'm talking to God now in prayer. Today, God, you are my high tower. Today, you are my refuge because I dwell with you. Also in Psalm 91, it says that he gives these angels charge over us. He protects us and we can say. And a lot of times what we say out of our mouth is what we get. So if you say to God that he protects you, then I promise you God will send his mighty warring angels to protect and assist you in everything that you do. But if you keep your mouth still and you panic, it won't happen. And there's another scripture in there. It says in Psalm 91, it says that there will be no plague that will enter your dwelling. No plague. So that plague is the virus. So you can say of the Lord, God in heaven, you will not allow any plague to come near my dwelling. No virus will touch my family. No virus will come in my house because that's what your word says. Now, I want to say this to you very carefully. Please hold God to his word because this is what makes victory. This is what gives you the victory. It's not about what you think. It's not about anything else. It's about standing true to God. And do not let the devils lie to you and say that you're going to catch it. I'm going to be sick. My family's going to die. No, 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 no. That's the devil talking. And I want to say to you, we have power over every evil force. And this force has been sent. This evil plague has been sent from hell to destroy you and cause you panic. But I say it stops now. And the third scripture I use is about mercy. 
Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. If you've done any studying about mercy, mercy means God's favor. So that means that you ask God for his mercy over your family, over you, over everything that concerns you, and over your nation and its leaders. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow Barbara all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. God in heaven, I thank you for your people that have heard. I thank you, Father God, that in Jesus' name we are in agreement, and I come against, by the authority of the name of Jesus, his son's blood, and who you are, God, that this virus that has been sent from the pits of hells, we rebuke it now. We command you cease and desist in Jesus' name, and you go back where you came from. You will stop now. You will stop harassing the nations. You will stop harassing the people. And in Jesus' name, I command you die now. You die, you go back from here. You go back to where you came from. And I thank you, Father, for washing people clean in your blood. I thank you for a new awakening. I thank you, Father, for taking care of people. I thank you for healing them. And God, your word says in Psalm 107 and 20, we can send the word and they're delivered and healed. And so we send the mighty, powerful word of God to all of the people that have contacted this disease. And we say, in Jesus' name, stop now. Be free in Jesus' name. This has been Dr. Barbara Jennison, and I'm, in, I'm with Wind of the Spirit Ministries International. And if you would like to write Wind of the Spirit, you can write us at, these are small letters, windofspirit at yahoo.com.